doesn't attack you. Nice. That's cool. I'll, I'll plant some more there then. I have to plant them all there at once though. Because, well, I guess I can get the thorn armor. I was reading up on it. You can get a thorn armor. So we'll lock that up. I should really fix that so uh, when your inventory is full, it doesn't take it off the thing. So the samples are for fiber mesh because we do we definitely need a lot of this fiber mesh stuff. What we'll do is we'll just plant another seed. There. Make sure we pick off all the... See, we know not... We, we actually no longer need this. This whole system here. We could get rid of this. And start using the other... The inside the base already. I don't know how much resources this gives me. And I don't know what I need to rebuild it. Okay. So, we need... We need this thing, so we need a wiring kit, which I think the wiring kit, so we have to make it, oh, see, see, we can't, we can't, uh, destroy this, because then we can't make one, <laughs> that's the thing, that's the whole point, we need, we need to keep using this until we're able to make the wiring kit, and that is underneath this one, and it's silver ore, but you still haven't found one with silver ore. Look, look, there's my, uh, creep vine. I mean, not my creep vine, but my, uh, thing that did, uh, will fire at me if I go close to it. Is it still firing? I need to know if it's still firing at my base here, or if it will. No, I don't think it's firing at my base. It might be, but it looks like it's just, it's not, I don't know, I, may, I must have glitched it. But yeah, I'm gonna plant a whole bunch of them right there. And if I have another, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build thorn armor once I unlock it. Because apparently that's what you have to use. And then I'm going to build a couple here and a couple here. So that then this, this whole this whole row here is protected. And then I'm far enough away for farming and not. Uh, so that uh, I can farm. Two spots right here. And have a protection on this side. And then I'm going to have another base over here. Another base right here. Uh. And then I'm gonna extend it out to the island. I'm gonna try- actually, you know what? I'm just gonna try to go up and across the surface. And we'll have another one of these, like, things where we can come in and out at intervals. Just in case we're across the ocean somewhere. And we'll have different vehicles for each, um, spot. And of course, we'll, we'll always have to make sure we lock these doors when we're moving. Oh my god, glitched. Can't get the angle on this freaking one. I guess for these, I can just convert them into power, I guess. Thank you. 
definitely gonna have to make another greenhouse. That could be the next area, I guess, the full greenhouse. With a thingamajig. For power. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit one in here. So then we'll be able to get to all the plants and stuff. Decomposing. Yeah, see, I should have kept it planted. Oops. Like, even though it's decomposed, as soon as you replant it, it re starts to regrow again. So that's cool. Uh, yeah. Definitely not gonna eat that, though. So we'll probably recycle it. Cycle it there. Uh, we don't need two jitter cups. These vine nettles, or whatever it's called, let's we'll see if we can plant it out here. In this. So now we got vine nettles growing, and we've got a pretty good. I <laughs> like how it's still trying to shoot. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. Got 150 power. Didn't need to open this. And uh, we need to build a knife. If you want to put all those, I'll just jump in the life pod. Figure out what I need to craft a knife because apparently it's probably silver ore, which I still can't find. And I'm not gonna craft a knife before I leave, so. Uh, battery titanium dime. Oh, action! I can make a laser cutter now. Damn. I can now make a laser cutter, so now I can cut through rock. So now I can actually get the ore. Okay. Laser cutter can cut through the rock, probably. That I see along the floor. So that's probably what it was. Oh, this, uh, silicon rubber and titanium. Now I can make that later. This makes it so that the that your life pod doesn't float away, I guess, if you put lockers in it because apparently it never floats away. Can I access my ship? Upgrade uh subnoctua upgrade. Okay, so I need to upgrade my 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 CMOS with a vehicle upgrade in order to What? What? I just glitched hard. What the f- <laughs> What? I just glitched so hard. What? I got out of the vehicle into the base. What? Anyway. Let's keep that there for now. What- Where does the charge hold? Cause- Shouldn't I have more than 150 power? Yeah. Maybe the power transmitters hold the power. Because, no, maybe not. Because, regardless of that, this doesn't, this isn't running. Because I'm not using power. And, okay, we're, we're gonna end this part here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more Subnautica very soon. Oh, there's a hole in my hut and in, in my sh ship. What the frig? Um, repair tool. Huh? It looks like there's a hole in it on the outside here. I must hit it with the sh something. Like even that, I don't even know. You got a pretty good distance on them. They don't attack you. So you you got a pretty good distance for where it doesn't attack. So yeah. So look, because it's not attacking me. So you got a pretty good distance on it. But yeah, there was a hole in my uh, ship. I don't know how. Something attacked it. I must have hit it with this thing. 
I may as well just heal myself in this room. This is to be the only room that that's airtight, airtight sealed, I guess. Oh, there used to be a window there. Anyway, there we go. Save. It's been like seven hours since I've saved too. So if the game would have crashed, I would have lost everything. Anyway, that's pretty much it.